What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Um, good afternoon, it still is. And welcome to this video in which I wanted to make a quick analysis, uh, fundamentally, but also technically, on the Algo, or Algo Runs, but uh, the token is called Algo. Um, and uh, yeah, so so because some interesting things have been going on. Algo Runs was pretty bullish uh, before the whole FTX drama happened, uh, for one clear reason, which we will get into. Um, uh, and then we dropped down. It was one of the biggest drops in the entire crypto industry. Drop back, drop down by in total forty-seven percent. Um, that's a lot. I mean, obviously there were cryptos that dropped down even more, but uh, Algorand. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if it was really exposed to FTX that that much. Uh, let me know if you know more about that. I don't think so. Algorand is a is an older project uh, before the time that FTX really became. Uh, the like huge, which it eventually became, unfortunately. Um, yeah, see, Algorand, I mean, Algorand was uh, created in 2019. I thought it was older than that. All right. Um, so yeah, but altogether, the main reason why Algorand is this bullish, because uh, so, so, so most of you will probably know, I know, but some of you might not. Um, that's because a while ago, um, Algorand was actually announced to be, and it might have been, I'm not sure when that was. I think I think right here uh, was announced to be the main partner, main blockchain crypto partner of FIFA. What's coming up in uh, in in December? The FIFA World Cup. So that's the main reason for it. I mean, it's just uh, the, the fundamentals then get more bullish because you have a potential at more uh, bullish news. So one thing I was I was wondering about. I think Algorand can be more bullish. I think the potential has been brought down a little bit because of the fear that's been brought into the market by FTX. Uh, but I was wondering how high you think uh, Algo can go. So let me know down in the comments. I, I think it's interesting to exchange that with one another. I'm quite realistic. I might even be a little bit uh, too sober. But um, yeah, so I will try to analyze Algorand a little bit more, but we'll do it like in increments. So I'll, I'll have price targets. I think we can still be quite bullish because of the World Cup with Algo. But as I said earlier as well, um, the, the market circumstances right now are obviously, you, you and I know, not great. Um, so if we take a look at Algo, what you can see, if you take a look at the technicals, you can see that we first found resistance at that 236 FIB, immediately managed to break through, which is very bullish, but then already you have this resistance level at 30 cents. Um, fundamentally, or psychological, uh, psychologically, excuse me, uh, that's very strong, but you also have that 50 EMA there. So altogether, very strong resistance levels. Uh, resistance level is making us drop down to this level right here between, I would say, 26 and a half and 26 cents. Now, what I think is going to happen, and that's also taking into account all the fundamentals that have been going around in the market, including the one specific to Algorand, is I think we'll drop down a little bit more. We might even drop down to 26 cents, but I do think we will hold that. Unless we get a huge crash again, then we won't, but I do think we will. Um, and then I think slowly we'll, we'll start testing 30 cents. I don't think we'll break through it easily, but I do think that at some point um, when Bitcoin also stabilizes a little bit more and once it gets a little bit more bullish, so that, that would be a great indication of the entire market. At some point, I think we're going to break above 30 cents, uh, which will bring us all the way up to uh, 33 cents uh, or this level between 32 and 33. But I think 33 is going to be the main resistance. And from there, I'll do another update, frankly, I think before the World Cup, we can also get all the way back to uh, 40 cents. I, I do think so. Maybe even higher, depending on the market circumstances. But um, as I said, I'll just update it once we reach uh, the price target. So that's my uh, Algorand analysis and update for today. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, take care and bye.